Hi there learners and welcome to our series on exam prep videos where today I'm going to be looking at question one from the PRAC exam of the IEB from June 2021. And this was a three hour exam as they all are um, with 180 marks. So question number one always deals with file management and um, you can see they're really asking us to do a couple of things with in the files and folders and it's usually around 20 marks so let's jump into question number one and i've got the data files over here okay so here's my data files so the first thing they want me to do is to add properties to the file about kids club now i've already changed that but you'll see that i'll just right click and go to properties and then they want me to change the title and in the next one, they wanted me to change the author. So where am I going to do that? Well, if I go to details, do you see the title? And what do they, what do they want it to be? What is the Creative Kids Club? What is the Creative Kids Club? And then they want me to change the author. Set, your, set the author detail to your name and surname. So I'm just going to put there Hambury and that's it. All right, there's my two marks. Then the next one, modify the word processing document, CK letterhead. So let's go, CK letterhead, All right? Um, to be a document template. So now that I've got my document, I'm just going to go file, save as... And I'm going to go browse and I'm going to say, I'm going to save it as type there, word template. So it goes into my document templates as CK letterhead. I'm going to say save. And now when I go into my templates, more templates over here, um, I should actually see CK letterhead. So let's go personal. And there we go, CK letterhead. Right, so that is done. Okay, 1.3, compress the three image files, KC Kids, Kids Together, and create into a single file called Creative Kids, your initial. Okay, so it's KC Kids, Kids Together. Let me just get those. Um, KC Kids, Kids Together, and Creative Computer Kids. Okay, so one two three and what we want to do is we want to I'm just going to say send to and they're compressed and when i click on that what do they want me to save it as creative kids and my initial so creative kids underscore i'm just going to put an h and that's how i do that right they have compressed it done three marks for doing what <laughs> okay, um, then they want me to create a shortcut to my HTML editor as follows, and they're giving me the instructions. Okay, they want me to create a new folder called HTML editor, so a new folder called HTML editor, and then within the folder, create a shortcut to the HTML editor you'll be using. So whether it's Notepad or Notepad++, I'm just going to right click, I'm going to go new, I'm going to go shortcut, and then I'm going to go find what I want. So um, it might be Notepad, it might be Notepad++, plus um, plus. whatever you are using, guys, you will just go to yours, and I'm just going to go and look for Notepad. There we go, Notepad. Next, I'm going to keep it as Notepad. And there we go. When I double click on that, Notepad opens. Okay, so I've created a folder. Within the folder, create a shortcut. You'll be using done. Rename the file candidate to your name. So candidate, they want me to rename that file. Just right click on that and just rename it. So they want me just to rename this and just call it Hambury. Okay, so there we go. Um, 1.5. Do you, do you see how quickly I'm moving through this? Right? 
Open the word processing document, CK computer management. And answer the following questions in the appropriate section. Provide the name as well as the version of the operating system um, your computer is using. All right, so I'm just going to go to my Windows button and I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to system and about. And I can see there this is Windows 10 Pro. So this is Windows 10 Pro. The name as well as the... Okay, so I've got that. The other way would be if I open my Explorer and I just right click on this PC and I go to properties. It's going to take me to exactly the same page. Right, so that is done. It's important to know what the word length of the operating system is, whether it's 32 bit or 64. Provide a screenshot showing the word length of the operating system on the computer you are using. So again, there we were. And we're looking at the fact that it's a 64 bit. Now I can use the snipping tool. And I can just say, well, I'm just going to cut that piece out. Take that. And pop that screenshot into my document. And there we go. I can resize it. They didn't say how big they want it to be. Right, 1.8. Let's see, is that the next one? Yes. Uh, someone wants to run a disk cleanup on their computer. Provide the steps on how to run the disk cleanup utility. Um, well, we can simply, we can go to the search bar, we can go and type in disk cleanup. To open that, we choose which hard drive we want to clean up and we click OK. That's it. Okay, so you needed just to um, type that out. And then the last one, they wanted us to provide the file size of the file creative kids dot jpg and we can see that it's 117 kilobytes 116 117 kilobytes and then we are done that's it so we just type that in and question one is done